Hey, what's up guys? It's Kerry from Phoenix and Bow, and welcome to a Sunday shave. Uh, this is just going to be a quick shave this evening because um, I wanted to just check in briefly and just say hello and have a very quick, very quick one pass shave. We should never really shave very quickly, should we? We know that. Um, but also just to share a couple of things with you, uh, and it just seemed like an opportune moment just to um, uh, run a run a blade over my face and just. Um, have a quick chat really. Um, it's Sunday evening, it's the 29th of uh, September, incredibly, um, very nearly October. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all go here in the Burroughs household. Um, I've just trained and uh, showered, feeling really good. Um, and I thought that I would, I'm staring at this thing down here, it's eyeballing me um, because it's it's pretty scary. It's It's my Sexta blade, my Wex Sexta blade. Now, this was recommended to me by uh, a delightful chap called Frank Stromberg. Um, Frank, forgive me, I think you're based in Sweden. Apologies if I've got that wrong. Um, but Frank recommended to me uh, this lovely blade here, uh, which he he saw on eBay and sent me a link, and um, I I managed to get it. Um, you have to. Pardon the uh, the audio. Uh, I've got a new phone, and um, it, it's one of those flash um, phones which that doesn't come with a with a headphone jack. So everything's done via via Bluetooth. Um, so my old microphones and everything that I had of my old phone are now redundant. So I will get that sorted in due course. So apologies for the tinny um, audio, and also because I've just I'm putting this shave together quite quickly. I don't have my normal big daylight lamps, so I'm just down here. I've got a little um, LED, which you just have to do. So, um, I, you know, it's probably not the best looking video, but there we are. I thought it'd be good to check in and say hi anyway. So for this evening's shave, um, I am gonna be using Right Handed Giant because I love it at the moment. It's, um, it's probably my go-to uh, shave. It's just something just great, you know, old school, classic vintage uh, with the paired with the lotion and then Followed up with uh, some brute. It's just, I just find it such a quite a refreshing shave, really, um, scent-wise. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it seems to be quite a common theme, really, with a lot of weight shavers. A lot, certainly, a lot of our customers is that you know we're using these older scents. We're trying to replicate these older scents. And even if we get somewhere close, speaking for myself, they kind of bring back memories of my dad. You know, my older brothers who used to shave, and they're much older than me, um, they're in their sort of mid-50s, um, who would shave with or use Brute. So it reminds me of earlier days gone by, and I think that's quite a common thing. Um, and evidently, I, I quite enjoy that. It just, I don't know, it's quite settling, it's quite grounding, quite anchoring, I suppose, in a way. So anyway, it's going to be a right-handed giant kind of shave this evening. I'm, I'm going to have a go with the wet, see how I get on. I'm going to... I'm going to bottle it a little bit. I'll probably just do my cheeks and maybe my top lip. It's just going to be a one pass shave. And then I'll probably finish off with my um, gem single edge. This is really kind of uh, putting in a strong bid for being my current favorite razor at the moment. It's just something really efficient about it. it gives me a really close shave. Um, you know, it, it kind of, uh, because of the, the way that the, uh, it's stamped, you know, the uh, the lather just kind of just flows through the uh, the razor head really easily. It doesn't get clocked up, I suppose that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and it, I think it looks nice too. A uh, brush, I think I'll go for, um, <clears throat> well, I've only got a selection of three at the moment, so I'm not really feeling the ball bristle. Um, I'm, I'm more of a fan, more of a synthetics fan, so it's a question of what size really. Um, I'm going to go for the larger, 13 year old Cadman, Cadman bow. You've probably seen this before if you've seen any of my um, previous videos. Great, great brush. Uh, okay, right, let's get on there. So some exciting news for myself 
in that um, on Friday, 27th of September, I travelled down to London to the London Tattoo Convention and met up with my tattoo artist, who's a Moscow-based um, tattoo artist who specialises in Japanese work. His name's Sergei Basley. And um, if any of you are Russian, um, Russian at all, let me know uh, what the situation is regarding which name you, you use first for a Russian guy, because a friend of his turned up who was, um, I think, Brazilian. Maybe it's a Brazilian thing, I don't know. But instead of calling him Sergei, called him Buzzley. I don't know. I've been calling him Sergei all of the time. To me, I, I view that as his, as his first name. But anyhow, I went down there and uh, sat for five hours in the chair with, with him and had a second session on my, what will be uh, a sleeve on my left arm. You can see a little bit of the, more of the work there. Um, it's higher up on the arm. You might have seen in previous videos. I'll put a picture up. Um, I'll thread that into the video. The Karajishi, which is up on my um, up on my arm, which is what the, the, the sleeve is kind of designed around, is a Buddhist temple guardian. And um, I consider myself to be a secular Buddhist. And I like to have a story behind my tattoos. And the story behind this sleeve will be, or, or, or is rather, that it represents Isla, my first, my firstborn daughter. In time, there'll be one on each shoulder, and typically they come in pairs and they guard uh, temples. So they're my two um, guardians, so to speak, and they represent something which is fierce and powerful um, and magnificent. But but equally, it's married with um, things of beauty. I think I think the Karajishi itself is a beautiful piece of art. But then uh, the second session was doing four peonies, which are these flowers here goes round and then higher up my arm and on my chest here. I'm really stoked. It was really sore. Uh, much of the session was painful, but uh, you know, we just get on with these things, don't we? Let's try this. It's been a very long time. Just um, dabbing my fingers on my Allen block just to increase the level of grip. Ooh, that is scary. I'm very happy to admit that I've kind of slacked off, I totally slacked off with practicing with this thing. And that's a really poor excuse because it's a lovely, a lovely razor and, um, and I really need to practice with it because I wanna, I wanna master this because I think it's gonna give an incredible shave. I think that, I think that blade is dull. I think that's been used to cut something other than my beard. Um, okay, I'm not gonna continue with that. On standby, I'll go to my Kamasuri. You might hear laughing in the background. That's, uh, that's my girl downstairs. Oh, that's better. You could say it has training wheels on it because it has the guards. You can see that very well. It has those little wires over it, but hey, I'm all for that. feels amazing. So in other news, um, this weekend has been very significant, not only just for new ink for myself, uh, having a great weekend with, uh, with my two girls whilst Sarah's been away, um, enjoying the weekend with 
couple of her friends in Brighton here in the UK. Um, but we released Nightwitch, our autumnal limited edition soap and, um, and post-shave lotion, which is an alcohol-free product for, uh, for pre-order. So uh, this is a... I'm not even going to dare to speak whilst this thing's touching my face. Uh, Nightwitch is our homage to Old Spice. It's a really beautiful, aromatic fougere. Um, and I think we've got pretty close with it, to be honest with you. It's a lovely, lovely scent. And again, it's another doffing of cap to the old classic vintage scent. And it's it's a really good one. Um, the artwork is, uh, is I, I love it. Um, the story of Night Witch is inspired by three things. So the scent of Old Spice, we're, we've always been inspired by that. The second thing uh, are the Nachthexen. Nachthexen is the German word uh, which was used during World War II by German soldiers, which represented um, female Soviet um, fighter pilots or bomber pilots who had bombed their lines. Um, on really kind of antiquated aircraft uh, that would come in silent and drop bombs on them uh, and they refer to them as night witches um, so that's the second thing and then the third thing is a, is a local band uh, called Wolf People that we love they're kind of excuse me one second good night darling I love you love you excuse me um Wolf People are a psychedelic, prog progressive rock, prog rock type band. They're flipping amazing. Uh, if I could swear on, 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 on these videos, I would. Um, just amazing. And their song, Night Witch, go and check it out. It's just, it gives me goosebumps. It's, uh, I suppose, a harm of blues and rock fan. And then all sorts of uh, derivatives of that music and other genres, which I'm not boy with. But, um, Night Witch by Wolf People is just a great, great track. And we spoke to the band. They gave us permission uh, to acquire the license um, for the song. We were going to make our own video for our, for our uh, product release, but we just never got around to doing it. And uh, what Jack, uh, who I think was the founding member of the band, um, granted us permission to do was to embed their video on the product page. So he's such a top bloke. Um, so we've done that and just go and listen to it. Go and have a look at the product page. Even if you're not interested in, in the soap, you'll see the, you'll see the video on there and it's brilliant. So, um, yeah, night, Witch. it's available for pre-order. Um, it will be out when commencing 21st ish of October and it should be with you in time for Halloween. Right. I'm switching to my left hand because the only good way to you know, shade with the rosy left-handed is to practice left-handed. So I'm right-handed, but I'm left-footed. Don't know what that's about. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a go. No pressure, shallow angle, that's what I keep telling myself. I'm pretty happy with that, considering it's been maybe nearly a year. Oh, that was close. My neck it makes it really hard to get to in here. Oh, I'm really not sure about my chin. Then it's quite hard to turn the corner with the blade, I find. Tricky. 
Frank, I don't know how, if you're watching, I don't know how you do this or how any of you do this. With such proficiency. Um, the other the other thing to talk about. Careful is an exclusive release that we've got for the razor company. Um, and that, that relates specifically to a scent that we uh, designed for them called Collider. And Collider is available in our tallow base shaving soap format. Um, we did it, we spoke to Jason Rigel, the owner of the company, lovely fella over in, uh, over in the US. And, um, and yeah, we collaborated and he loves the scent, he loves the design of the label. Collider is inspired by John Hopkins' song called Collider and, uh, and also the large Hadron Collider and the imagery that that kind of conjures, you know, if you can imagine atoms exploding, that type of thing. And that's, that, that was the inspiration for the label design that Sarah um, completed. So um, if you fancy it, Jason ships internationally. You can find it on his store. It goes live. Uh, on the 30th of September uh, and it's an exclusive soap to the razor company over, over in North America so um, please go and check it out and, and I hope you enjoy it and Jason if you're watching thanks very much it's been brilliant right last bit I'm gonna I'm gonna try and tackle my chin it could go wrong So one of the fine qualities, which I'm sure you know if you're a user of our soap, is the, is the residual slickness that it leaves in the face. And um, the proof in the pudding is there, just what I was doing on my chin, where the lather essentially is pretty much all gone, or the visible lather that is, is pretty much all gone. And yet, I'm still able to do this. Pretty happy with that. That was really, that was really enjoyable. I surprised myself. Right, okay. Um, I'm just gonna finish up. I'm gonna, as I always do, pull the remnants of the lather out of the knot. I know I'm not the only one to do this. I didn't invent this. Um, I forget where I saw it now. It just seemed like a good idea to me. You know, why waste what's left in the knot? Okay, I'm gonna do a quick pick up past there because there's still there's still whiskers left on my face. But I've got the bulk of it off my chops, definitely. See that? That was from the single edge. No nicks from the uh, from the camisore, from the feather. No nicks from that. I suppose you could say because I wasn't really going for it, and I did just run that single edge around my face really quickly, but still, nonetheless. And it's telling that I've cut myself with that as opposed to the, the much sharper and the much more aggressive but feather right now for the uh, now for the lovely bit. I'm gonna go brute first and then follow it up with the lotion. Oh wow. Not really. That's so nice. I don't know if this is a common thing, 
rubbing the remnants of the uh, of the aftershave into into your hair. I saw Rodney McAlpin. Rodney, if you're watching, I hope you're well. Hope the family's well. Um, I saw Rodney McAlpin over in uh, Tennessee. I forget where, but uh, over in that part of the world, do that. And uh, yeah, it just seemed like a good thing to do. Right now, some of the lotion. Some people, you know, there, there is the old saying of your mileage may vary. Shaving is a very personal thing. And, um, you know, what I enjoy, you might not enjoy, vice versa. Some people will talk about the post shave not being necessary. You know, if, if the soap, if the soap's good enough, then why are people bothering with lotions and potions post shave? But hey, I enjoy it. I like my, uh, I like the antiseptic qualities uh, and the stringent qualities of a good aftershave. I like the all of the healing and the soothing properties that I get out of um, bar lotions and, and other lotions on the market. You know, so and it means I can treat myself to something as well um, that Mrs. Burrows doesn't necessarily know about. But she doesn't need to know about that. She doesn't watch these videos, so I'm safe. Right, there we are. So that's kind of the shave, short and sweet. Um, I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. Um, sorry, I've just kind of cantered through this one at a rapid pace. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to check in and just say hi and just try some, just try the old, um, try the WEC again. It wasn't, the blade wasn't up to scratch. So I'll make sure that my admin is, uh, is sorted out next time and I'll put a new blade in that, the downstairs. Um, and yeah, just to, just to really also say that uh, Night Witch is available for pre-order. If you like Old Spice, it's definitely one for you. Um, check the page out. Check the song out by Wolf People. It is incredible. And um, if you fancy uh, an exclusive soap from, uh, from the Razor Company, Collider is a, I forgot to mention, it is a kind of woodsy, uh, woodsy accord with a slight uh, floral twist to it. So there's a, there's a hint of geranium in there. It's lovely. It's really powdery, woodsy. It's a beautiful scent. So, um, yeah, go and check it out. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's enough for me. It's getting late in the evening. And um, as always, thank you very much for joining me. And Shave Right. Feel brilliant. <laughs>